In today's video, we're going to be looking at a Positon Suprema 70L. So what we're going to be doing today is doing a PCB conversion. Now if you look at the front there, you've got two LEDs. So that's the old type of PCB. So when the conversion will have just one PCB and it'll change colour, showing basically the same configuration of these two LEDs. So we're going to go through the steps of doing this job. So what we're going to do, we're going to turn the power off here and take the fuse out. So that's out. So what we're going to do now is remove this front panel here. Just undo that screw there, Miles, and that'll slide off. So what we're going to do now is undo this screw there and that one there, and then this will come towards you like a hinge and it will come off. Just push up a bit. That's it. This section here, what we're going to do is take a picture of that so we know where the wire is going to go back on the new one. What I'm going to do, undo that clamp there with them screws. Then you're going to undo these screws here and take the wires out because we took a picture so we know where they're going to go. So now the loose they should come out like that. That's it, so you just leave them like that. So try to keep your wires like this, keep them in the same configuration and it's easier to put them back. What we're going to do now, we're going to remove that screw and then it will just come down towards you. That's it. Next thing we need to do is get this air pressure switch out of the way. Now you can see the screw there sticking out this side, gone through. But we need to get on it from this side. And we haven't got much room. So we need a stubby screwdriver. And you gotta get your hand in here. And get on that screw at the same time. Like that, get on there. and turn it till it's removed. So Miles is now turned it from the other side because we loosened it and it's coming out. That's it. So the air pressure switch is out of the way. We need it out of the way because if you look at that bung at the back, that's got to, move, that's got to be removed because that wiring going through is going to be passing through that hole basically. This is the other side of the wiring going through the casing. So what we're going to be removing is the purple wires. Um, let's get that clip out of the way. And then the purple wires are going to the fan on the earth like that. And then there's wires going around the back, which are going to the thermistor and the overheat thermostat. So these are going to be basically replaced so they're going to pass through that bung, that seal there and then it's going to pass all through here because all this is going to be discarded along with this all that's going to be discarded and be replaced with a complete new unit so now they're just moving the wires from the fan Nice to. Yep. Might need the pliers 
it's pushing the seal out. I'll push it in for my much better cause as it comes out. Right. That's it, let's put it there. And hold the wires it to come through there. Something else in it. That's it. And all through. You might have to do one colour at a time. This wire here that has to remain that goes to the flow switch and that's connected to the air pressure switch. Because it's a 70 L, so it's a quite big output, that's why they put this flow switch on this particular boiler. I'm just going to pump the remainder of this wire in through the air pressure switch. That. And then we're nearly ready to remove this main section here. And finally what we're going to do is disconnect this connection here. Next thing we're going to disconnect is the gas valve connection here. Also we've got to move this grommet seal here. Which connects to that earth lead and the spark electrode. To get this section off that's going to go up like it is and then come across and it should come off. That's it. Make sure what's a gas valve, what's why what's caught. I think there's a tie which is all I need to break off. That's the old one what's out now, you can see it. That's a PCB. There. You can see scorching on it as well. So that's the panel. So what we're going to do, we need to copy that information onto our new panel because it's a blank, so we have to handwrite it on. Basically transfer all the technical information, the outputs, onto the other new control panel data plate. I've seen a lot of these left blank, no serial number, no model number, no data. So that's that information transferred over to the new panel. We're going to position the new control panel in. Make it go over the top. This white cable now is going to connect to one of them orange wires. So if you connect that white cable with that orange wire, push it in. And then you're going to connect the other orange wire onto the air pressure switch. That connection there. It's got to go around, sort of in the bottom. Not from that way, from the bottom. That's it. Now we can fit the air pressure switch. Watch that earth wire. That can go either, I'll tell you what, you can pull that tube off if you want and send that wire to go through the centre. I'll pull it from this side. Should pull off. I don't think it will. I'll just put that there. Will it miss the air pressure switch? As long as it goes behind it. As long as it goes behind it, yeah. Right, so you're going to get that screw now. Put it through that hole. 
I'm going to do the reverse what I did before. That's it. I'm going to put the securing screw in to keep that up right now. We're now going to put the securing clip on now. Push it in there. And then what we're going to do, we'll get the wires in. So we've got basically our configuration. Um, that black one was the pump live. The other black one was the switch live. Um, the brown was the live. Blue the neutral. The earth is for the earth. So we're fully connected here. We put our leads on here. Put the seal in there, the grommet in there. Just go over it again. Everything's connected. So it's time to turn on. And now we've turned the boiler on and it's now fired up. You can see the green light. It's on. You can see how it's different from the previous control board. It's one LED as I said. And it's all working great. So that's it from me and Miles. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.